I ended up choosing this one over it because I mean, this design's simpler and doesn't require nearly as much room. Uh, so. Hey guys, MCB here, and today we are going to be playing some Minecraft Pocket Edition Mythic Nine Factions. Now in the last episode, we made the framework for our lovely underground bedrock base, which seems to have not been found yet, which is pretty great. Um, in this episode, we are going to be working on the design of it. Now, sorry if I sound a little uh, dead, and by that I don't mean like I'm physically dead, but sort of like fried brain, whatever you want to call it, tired. It's 1 in the morning, so, you know, I am quite tired, uh, but I do have a bit of a plan for the layout of the base and how it's going to look, and that's basically the reason why I made this four high. Uh, so, yeah, but anyways, let's get started. Now, you can see that the only thing we've got on us right now is the sea lanterns that we're going to be using to light up our base, but we're going to be needing a lot more than just that. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the block section and uh, get some quartz blocks. Now I'm going to be getting uh, preferably about 128. So let me see if I can get it to exactly that. There we go. There. There we go. 128, two stacks. And then I will also do a uh, slash shop, and we're going to go this time, that was the wrong version. Uh, this time we're going to be going to wools, which is right under blocks, and you're going to get cyan wool. And I'm only going to get one stack of this. Uh, I bought more than a stack for the quartz because uh, I'm planning on using it on future builds and stuff. Um, but I'm not going to be using it all in just this one thing. But anyways... We're going to be alternating sort of in a checkered pattern, um, this quartz and wool and stuff. So it's going to look like this. Uh, I think hopefully you guys should know what I'm kind of trying to show. It's it's going to be fully checkered, and it does look really, really good, because I actually, uh, this is the design that I use in most of my solo survival bases on Minecraft PS3. And so I thought, you know, might as well do it on factions. It still looks awesome, so I don't see a reason not to, and so I'm doing it, you know? Um, but yeah, I I actually use this for a, um, I made this one big, this big redstone house, basically, and I had, like, an elevator in it and an automatic sorting system. It was basically a practical modern house, um, with all, like, modern innovations and stuff. Um, and I, uh, had this pattern in it, and it was pretty awesome, and I also had it on my redstone computer, um, thing, I don't, I don't know what you'd really call it, redstone computer map, whatever, um, and yeah. So now we should probably be placing the, uh, lamp, so I'm gonna move this stuff up here, I don't know why this is not moving properly, but there we go, seems we're lagging a little bit, and you should put one right there. Right there, here, here, uh, preferably just like cover this entire wall with it, but, you know, if you don't have very much money, then obviously you're not going to be able to do that. Uh, I need to get two more sea lanterns, and we also need to get chests. Now, you can't actually buy chests on the, uh, shop, but what you can do is you can buy wood, and then you can just craft it into chests, so it shouldn't be too hard, uh. Let's turn this to two if we can. Two. Please. Please, two. There we go. And one, two. And then let's get the wood. Uh, I'm just going to get oak wood since I don't think there's really a difference um, in any of them. And I believe that these are logs, so I'm going to start with 32. 30, 32. Yes, these are logs. Okay, so we can do slash craft, I believe. Is that right? No, we cannot. That's only Minecraft PC. Okay, in that case, then, we're going to craft this manually. Like, using using our inventory and stuff. No, it's really old-fashioned, but it works anyways. It'll just be extremely laggy, because for whatever reason, my inventory decided to lag 
horribly. I would assume that's because, uh, like, half the stuff in my inventory, more than half actually, is enchanted. And so, like, the animations are probably throwing it off or something, but I don't know for sure. Uh, but this right over here is where we're going to be putting our, like, you know, uh, crafting table, furnace, enchantment table, anvil, ender chest, you know, all that stuff. Uh, and we'll be keeping the rest of the stuff everywhere else, basically. I don't know why that just happened. I'm so confused. This is so laggy right now. Okay, I'm trying to... Can I just... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Just put this in my inventory. I still don't know why everything's lagging so badly. We're just gonna craft using this. Okay, this should work. And I think we're gonna need a lot more wood than this as well. Uh, we don't seem to have nearly enough. So... That's definitely something to worry about. Uh, okay, anyways, there we go, 15 chests. And we'll just place them as we go. Yeah, we're going to need probably another, like, stack of oak wood planks. So let me get some of those. Uh, actually, we'll probably need over a stack. I'm going to get, like, 80 would probably be a good amount. Or maybe 75. I'll get 76. Because 76 is... Why not? <clears throat> Alright. So, yeah. Basically, it's it's a really simple base design. Uh, and I have another base design that I was thinking of doing. I actually... If you guys go back to my original... I believe it was Eternal Faction Season 1. If you guys go back to Eternal Faction Season 1 and check out the base design that I had in the final episodes, that was kind of what I was thinking of doing. But I just decided, you know, I don't really care. Um, I'd rather have a, a smaller base that doesn't cost too much to make than a huge base with tons of room in it because I would have had to have made a really big base to put my ceiling in. And the ceiling that I had in mind was, like, alternating between polished, I believe it's polished andesite and polished granite, I think. I believe that's right. I don't know. One, one of the um, stones is, like, really white. One of them's, like, a gray and one of them's a brown. And it was between the brown and the glossy gray, not the white one. The white one's just really ugly for whatever reason. Um, but, yeah. That's that's kind of the idea I had in mind, but I ended up choosing this one over it because, I mean, this design's simpler and it doesn't require nearly as much room, uh, so I should be alright with this instead. How long is it going to take me to craft all this stuff? Dude, this is just way too slow. I swear, if, if I sp end up spending like another minute on this, I'm going to go insane. Uh, but I think you need like... 10 chests per row? Okay, that's 12. How many chests does this take? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 chests a row. So are we going to be able to make another, what, 24? Yeah, we're going to be able to make another 24. Actually, 29. So we can uh, stop making chests and just leave um, 5, I guess, circles of wood left. Which is good, I would say. <sighs> Takes us slightly less longer to craft because it is taking way too long to craft this. I've got to see if I can potentially edit my texture pack because this really is just... It's insane. I want to see if there's a way I can edit my texture pack and make this not quite as laggy. Like, perhaps change the uh, enchanted item animation. Cause it's, it's not exactly, like, the most intense or anything. It's not very... Graphics intensive, but still extremely laggy for whatever reason. So perhaps I could just like <laughs> color it in a shade of purple or something, and maybe just not have it animated. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the base, and you guys can you guys can see the floor through here, um, which makes it pretty awesome. And you can also see it over here, and you've got your lights right over here. And I'm probably gonna be okay. I disconnected. For whatever reason there. I'm probably going to be putting torches on those little bits of bedrock that uh, stuck out. Uh, I originally wasn't going to have them be part of the base. Because of... I wasn't. And I accidentally placed one. Uh, but 
what I accidentally placed, I was able to actually turn into something that looks pretty good because with the ring of um, sea lanterns around it, that actually looks pretty, pretty sick. Why do I have another welcome book? Does it just give me an information book every time I join the server? I swear. Why are there so many? I, I have, I've, before I got raided, I had like nearly half a stack of these books. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for the video. Uh, just so you know, hopefully the audio should have been pretty high quality. I've uh, like basically eliminated any background noise and all that. So yeah, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Subscribe. Let's see if we can get to eight likes on this video. That would be great. And peace.